Hey guys, Matt here with American Survival Co. And today we're gonna talk about the difference in wild carrot or Queen Anne's lace and poison hemlock, so stay tuned. All right, so I wanted to make this video because in the past week, two weeks maybe, I've seen a lot of posts about confusion with uh, wild carrot or Queen Anne's lace and uh, poison hemlock. So we're gonna break down with a good visual the differences and how to differentiate the two. Once you know what all those individual things are, it's really, really easy to piece together that puzzle and know what exactly it is that you're looking at. So the first thing we're looking at is wild carrot or Queen Anne's lace. And Madeline, if you'll come on in here and try and get a good picture of this. This is the flower head or the umbel. And if you notice, on this one, we actually have a little purple dot here. Uh, but let's talk about uh, how I would identify this visually. And the first way is, this is nice if there happens to be one there, but the reality is, is there's not necessarily always gonna be one of these little red flowers. So the, uh, the kind of saying or thought behind this is Queen Anne was making some lace. She pricked her finger and one single drop of blood fell in the middle and on a lot of these, you'll see that little flower will start out as a deep purple or as a red. And you can see on multiple ones here, Madeline, if you shift it down to this one, where they can get a view, notice this one doesn't have it. So it's not always a guarantee, but it is one visual indicator. What else can I see? Well, it is one flower head or one umbel, and it's not spread out. I can look and see that, Madeline, can you get a good view of these hairs here? Yes. So Queen Anne had hairy legs. Uh, she did not have bruises on her legs, so there's no purple splotchiness. And the queen was guarded by guards with pikes. So if we pull one of these back, you can see it almost looks kind of like a pike that would go on the end of a spear. Uh, and that is guarding uh, that, um, that flower head there. So uh, those things combined tell me uh, that this is Queen Anne's lace or wild carrot. So now let's take a look at how different poisoned hemlock actually looks when you really compare them side by side. Let's go. So now let's look at the, the visual differences in poisoned hemlock. So this is poisoned hemlock here. If you guys, uh, Madeline, if you wanna come in. Uh, we're not seeing the white flowers yet. I'm not a botanist, so I'm not gonna pretend to know if that's because it's in a shaded area and lacking sunlight or if it's just early in its growth phase. Uh, either way, you can see these individual umbels. And if we kind of raise one up and you look at it from uh, a side view or a back view, it almost looks like a starburst coming out of the end of that stem. And we also notice instead of one big flower head, we have multiple of these umbels or these flower heads that are coming off. Uh, if we get a good side view here, Madeline, can you see this? You notice there's no pikes uh, to guard the queen, right? So that's one indicator. Another thing, let's move down here, look at the stem, Madeline. So look how smooth this stem is. There are no hairs on it, uh, but we did mention the bruising uh, or the purple splotchiness. And Madeline, if you can kind of scan down through here, you guys can see lots of that purple splotchiness. So all of those indicators tell me that I need to beware this is poison hemlock and this is not to be confused with wild carrot. When it's fully flowered and got good direct sunlight, this is what poison hemlock will look like. You see this? Almost looks like that starburst I was talking about. Very cool. And man, look at the purple. All that purple splotchiness. Wow. Now the real driver for me wanting to make this video is I've been seeing lots of posts that I mentioned earlier. And one of those posts was a lady talking about an experience she had doing some clearing on her property. She came across what she didn't know was poison hemlock. She just thought it was a weed. Uh, so she started just grabbing it, pulling it up. Uh, and the moisture from this thing getting onto her hands and seeping into her skin uh, really made her sick. Like 24 hours 
vomiting, stomach aches, uh, super increased uh, heart rate, and just felt terrible. And that was just from getting the juice from this plant on her skin and it's soaking in. Now, if this is ingested, well, that's what Socrates made his tea from. Uh, and I've talked to uh, emergency room doctors, wilderness medicine doctors, uh, to ask them, is there anything you can do for someone who has ingested poison hemlock? And the general consensus from both of those individuals was, we can put you on life support and hope that that saves you, but in reality, uh, this is gonna shut down your cardiac and respiratory system, and it's a gamble. There is no elixir or cure-all to give you to reverse the effects of uh, ingesting this poison hemlock. So it can be really, really toxic if you have to remove it from your garden or something like that or, or around your home. Uh, you wanna use gloves, uh, be careful handling it, and make sure that you're not getting uh, the, the juices from this plant soaked into your skin because it can make you really, really ill. Uh, commonly, last thing I want to say, this is not baby's breath, uh, and a lot of people will see, especially when these are turned white and they just look really beautiful, they want to gather those and put them in a flower arrangement of the house, and they're putting really, really toxic plant into their living space. So just food for thought. Last thing, anytime it comes to any plants, whether we're talking about this, the wild carrot, uh, it's really important to always do your due diligence, trust but verify. Now you know how to identify this thing, now go and do your own research on it. Go do your own research on wild carrot because there are a lot of interesting things out there that I'm not covering just because I want you to be able to identify the two plants and not get them confused. But that's it guys, I hope you found some value in this video. Hope to see you guys in the field soon. Come train with us.